this is a huge issue, um, and it's, it's on multiple fronts. Daryl Brown is the CEO of the Canadian National Exhibition Association. He says while they can't wait to welcome people back, the longevity of the festival is on his mind. There comes a time when it may be impossible to successfully manage this fair. Brown isn't worried about the CNE's popularity. Last year, about 1.6 million people attended. The real concerns come down to losing the space for the festival, which began in 1879. The province is planning a parking lot for the Ontario Place Spa. And the city has offered up the Better Living Centre on the c &E grounds. Brown says that was a surprise. There was absolutely no discussion with us what the, that implication would be. If they were to take down, for example, the Better Living Centre, that's another 220,000 square feet of programmable space we would lose. He says over the last six decades, the c &E has lost seven buildings on the grounds. And Brown says the c &E only survived the pandemic closures due to a federal government grant of $7.1 million. And to offset increased costs from food prices and inflation, ticket prices have increased. Last year, tickets cost $25 plus a $2.99 service fee and taxes. This year, tickets are $26.55 plus the fees, but are $22 if bought in advance. This expert says events are taking longer to recover from the pandemic as operating costs have increased across the board. With COVID, festivals and events have gone through two bad years. And, and we're, although we've come out of it the last two years, we're still getting back to where we need to be. A spokesperson for the Ministry of Infrastructure says the province is consulting with Exhibition Place and the city about the proposed parking lot. They said they will take tenants into account and no final decision has been made yet. And Brown says though they've usually kept these issues private, they need the public to help keep the c &E going. So we have a power there in terms of public support and we'll use it if we have to use it. Olivia Bowden, CBC News, Toronto.